Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman bringing you another episode of Trail Makers, and we have a new update to explore, the Summer Update. And the thing I'm most looking forward to about this update is a new block called the Detachable Block, which means that we can actually press a button to detach things from your creation. So with that idea, I'm thinking that I'm gonna try to make a plane that launches missiles using some timed inputs and stuff so the missile detaches first and then launches. I'm hoping that's gonna work. But before we get to that, there's other parts of this update too that I'm actually looking forward to checking out. So first off, there is visual overhauls and new categories of things. So the visual overhauls is obviously you can see that um, we've got different colored, different color schemes, not color schemes, but different color designations for the primary and secondary colors. So now the attachment points are now colored instead of just being a gray square. And some of them are like colored to your secondary color as well. So that's kind of cool. We also have two new menu areas called electrical, which is where we have some new things such as a concrete wall dispenser, a beach ball dispenser, a metal crate dispenser, and we also have balance. And this is where our weight and pontoons and buoyancy controls have been uh, grouped under. You can see some visual overhauls here on some of the wheels as well. Ooh, and even some of like the uh, the engine based things have some pretty cool visuals. And then here is the new detachable block. So I'm really looking forward to exploring all this stuff and seeing what kind of stuff we can uh, do with this. Now first, let's actually spawn in uh, an old creation and see what it looks like with the new paint scheme. Okay, so this is the transformer, the five-in-one transformer that I made a couple uh, a couple episodes ago. Probably one of my best creations to date. Transforms and looks awesome. So yeah, this is uh, this is what the blocks look like now. I, I really like that we don't have those gray squares for all the attachment points anymore. So I'm liking the visual. I'm liking the new paint visuals. All right, so I'm going to spawn in my old monster truck. I'm going to use this to test out these dispenser blocks and see what they're all about. Oh, I need to delete some lights off of this thing. Those lights are just obnoxious. All right, so this thing's feeling pretty good. So now let's check out these dispenser blocks and see what they actually do. All right, first up, we have the concrete wall dispenser. Now, I'm not entirely sure what direction, like what the directionality does with these. So I'm actually going to put one on the back. I'm going to put one on the front. I'm going to put one on top and one on the bottom. And we're going to set them all to different controls. Whoa, this is unexpected. They have an up and a down? I don't know what that means for a wall dispenser. I thought there was just going to be a button to dispense the walls. All right, I think I have them all separated into different things. So the back one, let's see. So I'm going to do the up key on the back one and see what this does. Up. Okay, that's not what I expected. All right, what about down? Wait, what? Oh! It's dispense and delete. Dispense and delete. How many can I just keep? Oh! That is so many walls. Uh, can we just keep deleting them all? All right, well, this is interesting. Uh, all right, what's the bottom one? I, I forget which one I assigned to which, actually. I think the bottom one is... Oh, nope, that was the same. What? <laughs> We're care... Oh. Oh. We're stuck. What happened? We're actually stuck. All right, we're gonna have to delete it then. All right, all right, now I think this next button is the bottom one. Nope, that's the front one. All right, well that just seems like a terrible idea to spawn a concrete wall in front of your vehicle while you're driving, but let's do it. <laughs> we just severed ourselves completely in half. That was fantastic. All right, let's repair. Let's see if we can replicate that. Can we do that again? And... That is brilliant. That's great. We have a self-destructive, like, decapitator. All right, let's try the next one. I don't know which one, if this is the top or the bottom. Eh, oh, that's the bottom one. That's not gonna be good. That's not gonna be good. All right, let's try that while we're going full speed. All right, and go. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. What if we're going a little bit slower? All right. Oh, there it goes. Okay, yep, there there it goes. Imagine this thing in races. If you get out in front, you're going to have such an advantage just being able to lay these things down behind you. Oh, there's the top one. Pew, pew, pew. Just imagine laying all these things down behind you. Look at this. Actually, I never even experimented. How solid are these walls? 
I've never actually driven directly into one, so let's go ahead and see if they move at all. Nope. Alright, so that is the concrete wall dispenser. So now I think we have a ball dispenser as well. A beach ball dispenser. Alright, so for this one, I'm just gonna put one on top and in front. Oh, I didn't I didn't actually set them on in different keys. That's alright. Oh. Okay. Well, these are a lot less destructive. Do they just stay? Do they just stay around? This is kind of cool. Whoa! I'm honestly, I'm trying to figure out, like, what the point is. Like, why? Why beach balls? And it doesn't look like we can have that many on the map at the same time compared to what we could with the uh, the wall dispenser. It looks like only three at a time. But it seems like the beach balls don't really affect the vehicles that much, but we can hit them around. So it might be cool. You could probably make some like multiplayer games using the beach balls. You play like keep away or soccer or something. All right, let's check out. I think we have a metal crates dispenser or something like that next. All right, here's the metal crate. These things get launched. How destructive are they, though? Is this going to land on me? Oh, nope. Well, let's go ahead and run into this one over here and see what this does. Eh. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so it's kind of like a middle ground in between. Well, it's a lot more close. It's a lot, lot closer to the concrete wall for sure. So it definitely has destructive capabilities, unlike the beach ball. But uh, it is movable, unlike the concrete wall. Check that out. So this, I feel like, would be a little bit more of a fair race weapon. The concrete wall is a little bit unfair because it's just an immovable object. But these things, if you kind of just spawn these around, then they have a chance to still kind of power through depending on the kind of vehicle that they've built. But it also has a chance to trip them up a little bit, unlike the beach ball, which seems useless in, as a weapon. All right, let's see if we can actually shoot this thing up and have it land directly back down on us. Theoretically, if we're just flat like this, it should go straight up and down, right? Oh, that didn't go nearly as high as it did before. Oh, <gasps> whoa. I just realized you can charge this. If I just tap it, check that out. And if I hold it, it actually charges. Does that work with the concrete wall too? Oh no, the concrete wall I think is actually different. This doesn't have a, uh, a telescopic barrel like these do. So the beach ball dispenser, I'm assuming, also charges up. Whereas the concrete wall, I'm assuming, does not. Let's try them all at the same time. All right, here we go. Holding it down. Oh no. <laughs> okay, that's what happens when you hold down the concrete wall dispenser. Uh, it does not charge up. It just keeps on dispensing. So let's delete that thing and let's see how the beach ball compares to the metal crate as far as, uh, how far we can sh we can shoot it. Oh, and now that I don't have the concrete dispenser, I can't delete those walls. Oh, well, we'll just leave them there. All right, ready, go. Okay, metal crate has a lot more mass. The metal crate goes a lot higher. When is it gonna land? <laughs> That's so high. Look at how high that goat. Wait, I don't even, I can't even see it. Oh, there it is, there it is. That is insane. All right, so that is one of the major additions to this update. Another one, which is actually super useful is, I don't know if you guys knew this, but there wasn't actually an undo feature. So if you like did this and like you wanted to just like move it back by like what up, like see, I wanted to move it, I wanted to move it this way by like a couple blocks, but instead it moved down there. So now I can just do control Z and it goes right back to where it was. So that's gonna be super useful, especially when like you accidentally like delete the wrong thing or something. All right, so I think all we have left to do is try out this dispenser block. Where, where's the dispenser block? It's down, all right, wait, I don't, okay. Okay, so now all that's left to do, I think, is to check out the detachable block. So what I'm trying to do is build missiles that will fly on their own after being detached from a plane mid-flight. So what I'm hoping is gonna happen here is that when we press the button to detach this block, we are then going to set a delay on the thruster of the missile that will activate after it's attached. Now, what I don't know is if when it's attached, do the controls still hold to the object? Because when I detach it, 
we might lose all control of the object and the thruster might not activate on the delay. So I'm hoping that the delay will, will allow it to be activated after it's been detached from the main body. So I think first, let's just build a missile. So I think I'm just gonna do a single thruster missile. This should be good enough. All right, so now all we have to do is make this thing fly. And the way we gotta do that is by giving it a tail, first of all. All right, here is our prototype missile. Now I'm hoping that this thruster is gonna be enough to uh, carry the weight of this thing pretty well. And unfortunately I can't test it out without putting a seat on it. So let's actually give this a try now with a detachable block. So this is gonna be proof of concept right here just to see if this actually works before we actually build the entire plane and everything. So we're just gonna take a seat. We're gonna attach it. Oh, that's a lot of things that are not, a wait. Oh, there we go. There, I thought all that stuff was not attached to itself. Okay, so now the experiment here is if I press T to detach, then can we have this thruster trigger with T as well, but have it delay by one second. And then we also need to have it on toggle because we're not gonna be able to hold down the button. All right, so let's see if this works. So this should detach us and then launch the missile. Here we go in three, two, one, go. Oh no. It seems like the it seems like the control inputs get erased once it detaches from the main cr creation. Unless, oh wait, there might be a solution. There might be a solution. If we do not have a delay and we just have it on toggle, it should activate at the same time that it detaches and then stay on. I was really hoping for it to drop and then activate, but it doesn't seem like that's going to work. All right, let's go ahead and get in this thing and go. What? Why? Why is it not working? Go. This is not turning out the way I expected. All right, our other option, which is not ideal at all because it's going to really affect our flight, is we have this go on with T and then we have this be delayed. So the thruster activates and then it detaches. But we just like, let's just have it delay by like 0 0.10 because we do not want this to pull our craft too much. All right, three, two, one, go. What is going on? Three, two, one, go. Oh no. Okay, so exactly what I was afraid of is happening here, where as soon as we detach this thing from our seat, all the control scheme is just lost, and we cannot keep the thruster on. So, I have a, I have a workaround, a potential workaround, but uh, we need to get rid of some of this stuff here. And the best way to get rid of this stuff is to shoot it. Oh. Oh, I think they changed the guns too. I think they actually made it so that, uh, whoops so that the small cannons don't actually have explosive rounds. Oh, yeah. There it is. Whoa! All right, what happens to the beach ball? Absolutely nothing. What happens to the crate? Nothing. All right, so you guys ready for this ingenious solution to uh, our control scheme problem? I really hope this works. So the issue is that you lose your controls when you detach from your seat. So the solution is put a seat in the rocket. All right, so now I have a feeling that this rocket is going to be very off balance, but let's let's hope that it stays up in the air. Wait, wait, how do we do this? Oh no, that's off balance. That's off balance. Oh, there it is. Check it out. There it is. All right, it curves a little bit. So we're just gonna have to take that into account. I don't know how. But adding that engine to the back actually really helped. And it does, the rocket does still go. Maybe one more thruster in here. Let's give it a try. Oh, that is so much better. That is so much better. Look at that. We have a rocket. Now this rocket is huge. Do you have any idea how heavy this rocket is right now? Like we have to put this thing, at least, I was thinking two of these things onto a plane, 
So this thing weighs about 30 plus 30 is 60, plus that seat is another 30, so that's 90, and then plus all the rest of this stuff, this is another 10, so that's 100. So this is actually over 100 kilograms. So we're at about 200 kilograms of weight. But now we have to, uh, now we have to test our theory again. If the seat is attached, can I be in a different seat and still launch it and have the controls stay? All right, here's the moment of truth. We get into this seat, we press the button. Oh, whoops, I forgot. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, it's staying on. Now let's see if the delay works. Oh, if the delay works, it's gonna be so perfect. Here we go. All right, and detach. Oh. I told you, I told you I had a solution. This is literally a rideable missile. All right, so I'm gonna save this missile design. Up next, we need to create a plane that can carry two of these missiles. This might be a process. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I think I have the basics of our flight design. Uh, so this is what we're working with. And I'm hoping that when we attach, oh. So I'm hoping that when we attach the uh, rockets or the missiles to this thing, that it's still gonna be able to fly because that's gonna be an extra 200 plus kilograms. And uh, it's gonna be added to like the front of this thing too. So I think it's gonna make things a little bit difficult. But we're just gonna see if they can even fit, first of all, and then we gotta see if we can fly. And then we gotta see if we can detach them. And that's really gonna affect our flying. All right, let's come in for a nice landing here. Oh, look at that. Okay, so, moment of truth. Actually, let me save this on its own. Look at how big this missile is compared to that thing. Now the question is, where can we attach and detach? It looks like our engines is where we're gonna attach the detach block. <laughs> Detachable block. This is ridiculous. This is just absolutely ridiculous. I feel like there's gonna be a better way. All right, I gotta be honest. I think this is the best I can do. Like, I don't know how I'm supposed to attach these rockets. All right, here's our here's our ridiculous fighter plane with uh, yeah, these jets. They don't they don't work at all. And hopefully, this is gonna allow us to take off up into the air. That doesn't make any sense. Let's hope that we can- Why is my character sticking out of the seat? We're glitching the game out again. I'm hoping that we'll just fall off of this mountain very gently. This is not happening gently. Is there a spawn point that I could just take off in the air? This one looks good. This one looks good. Come on. Take off. Take off. Take off. Uh, oh, it is so heavy. It is so heavy, but it's kind of working. Okay, so now when I press T, they should detach 
and then a half a second later, I changed it to a half a second. They should detach that a half a second later. They should activate and go off on their own. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, detach. Oh, it totally worked. And they kind of went straight too. That was kind of amazing. I wish we could have smaller rockets. All right, let's go back and try that again. I'm gonna save this thing in case I haven't saved it yet. Oh, I think I'm in the wrong seat. I got in one of the rockets. You know, we're gonna do that too. A after we do another run of this, we're actually gonna do a run where we get inside the rocket. Oh, are we gonna be able to take off? Come on. Oh boy. Launch the missiles. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's bringing us with it. Oh, we're gonna explode. Oh boy, we were we were a missile in and of ourselves. I actually want to try to like aim at something and see if that can work. Okay, here we go. Maiden Voyage 2. That doesn't make any sense. All right, let's try to actually aim at something. I don't know what we're gonna aim at. What should we aim at? There's so many like things. Oh, let's aim at the wall of the giant vertical ramp over here. Let's see if we can actually... Whoa. Let's see if we can actually do this. All right. Come on. Come on. All right. And... Launch! That was awesome. That kind of worked. All right. This is totally... A th it, we, were, we were successful. We're totally successful. All right. So now I want to get in one of the rockets. Let's be the rocket for this one. All right, here we go. We're going to get into the left rocket over here. So we are now flying from the rocket because all seats have control have control over all of the controls that you've set, which is why we needed this seat for these things to work in the first place. Okay, so now let's aim for that sign. The sign that says best on it. So I know that these rockets drop a bit, so we're going to go up like this and then launch. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That is so cool. I gotta do that again. Being the rocket. Oh, oh no. Oh no, we respawned as the rocket. That's not what I meant to do. So being the rocket is actually more fun than launching the rockets from the plane itself. Oh, we're missing the ramp. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, we made it. Okay, what should we aim for this time? Oh, I never noticed that hole right there. Can we fly through it? Uh, uh, oh, we did it. Even with 200 kilograms of missile on us, we flew through the hole. Okay, let's try to aim into the tunnel. Now remember, I'm the left rocket right now. All right, here we go. And launch. Oh, uh, almost, almost, almost. All right, so I'm gonna do one more big launch. And by big launch, I mean, I'm actually gonna launch myself higher up in the air as a rocket so that I have more more flight time. But uh, let me know what you guys think of this update and it, do you have a better idea on how we could make a more efficient rocket here? Because uh, these things are heavy and I can't think of a way to make these things any less heavy to be on. Wait, am I in? No, I'm in the regular seat. I can't think of any way to make these rockets any more practical because these are really impractical right now with having to put a seat on them in order to be able to detach them and still be still be able to have them go. All right, so we're gonna aim over to the starting area. Here we go, make sure you leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss future content like this and leave a suggestion for what you would do with the detachable block because I will use that for future videos. All right, and launch. Oh, and I have some control over it too from the seat. Not much, really not much. Ooh, there we go, there's the other rocket. All right, I'm glad that this was successful. I was worried when we first tested it out and the controls weren't working, but I'm glad we thought of a workaround and uh, we were able to create something that kind of did what we set out to do. I look forward to seeing those ideas down in the comments. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.